Hello, good morning. I'm going to do a video today on my units on the boat. So I'll uh, show you the setup that I've got going and uh, all the tech that I use, the maps and all of that. Right, so this is some of the setup that I use. I've got a 12 inch unit. This is a Lowrance HDS Live. That's out the back, so I can operate it out the back. And in the front here, I have two nine inch HDS Live units. I'll try and show you this the best I can, just using a handheld. So uh, this unit here, is what I use to sort of navigation and at the minute it's just on a box standard base map so if I go into uh, my chart source here and hit that I've got an option here of uh, Navionics or CMAP so if I go on to the Navionics that will load and then that gives me all my relief shading and everything else so when I'm out at sea I can see all these reefs and that's a reef I fish quite often I can see all these reefs and all these areas and on this other plotter here that I use <coughs> this is my uh, pages so this is where I access all my uh, functions on there and if I just put it onto a sonar for now that's the palette that I'm using you can change all of these to different palettes you can add for uh, oops you know you can have whatever one you like really different I just quite like this green one at the minute that's the one that's working for me and uh, if I go into pages when I go out normally I'll have the chart on this plotter here and then what I'll do is I'll normally run this page and so on here, I've got two radars. I've got one set at eight mile, one set at two mile. I've got my steer, which tells me uh, how far I've got to go to the destination. The, um, obviously my speed and everything else. And uh, obviously the arrival time. And on here is my Mercury uh, management page which tells me everything that's going on with my uh, with my mariner engine so it'll tell me my fuel consumption what I'm doing per hour and everything else but this is quite funky uh, there's two uh, radars which is so I can run two radars at the same time so normally I would have this one on about a mile and I'd normally have this one set on about sort of six mile. Oops. Yeah, about six mile. So if I show you that on uh, a different page here. So there's my two radars. So I've obviously, I've got, when I'm steaming out, I can see something obviously six mile in front of me and it'll give me a warning and then anything initially around me within a mile radius, I can see and you can see there it's pulling up an AIS vehicle, which is obviously close to me. I think it's that uh, yacht just over there that it's picking up. Um, and obviously my uh, boat is all on an AIS. I have a switch there. And then that shows my boat when I'm out there as one of, the, uh, one of these targets. So if I click on that target, it will tell me that's Arinella. Well, that's a lifeboat there. So as you can see, that one there is the lifeboat and I can track that if I want to or whatever but uh, but yeah that's super safe so normally when I go out I'll actually have it on uh, on this function so I've got two radars one close one out far that's my steer and that's my engine management which tells me everything that's going on with the engine and obviously this is the chart now I uh, I quite like using Navionics, but I can also use um, CMAP Reveal, which is fantastic. This is the it, this was sort of the first one that came out on relief shading, and it's great. But I use different ones for different things. If I want to see where wrecks are and things like that, uh, then I'll use that CMAP Reveal. If I want to see reef areas and uh, different contours I use different you know I'm in this game to win it so uh, 
I use what's ever best suited for me. So uh, I'll come out here now and I'll show you on my uh, deck here. This is the, the unit that I use um, when I'm uh, out. So uh, when I'm going around a wreck or I'm going to a reef or whatever, this is a unit that I use because I can't really see those units there. I'll have to put this down a minute. Now, this unit here is exactly the same as the two inside and they're all linked together. So what you see on one, you'll see on the other and vice versa. So if I put a waypoint up on this one, so let's just put it in. This is normally what I, how I run it. You can see that red area there. That is a radar overlay. So let's just zoom down a, out a bit. And then obviously I've got my, I've got my um, sounder on there. So when I'm going round a wreck, I can see the wreck there I go round and then obviously I use the sounder to uh, to show me where the fish and, and when the start of the wreck is coming up okay I showed you how the radar function goes I'll show you the radar that I use now and this is a Lowrance Halo 20 plus you can see it there and it's fitted on a scan strut forward facing uh, stand ideally it could be better placed higher but it looks pretty cool there so it works it does exactly what it says on the tin so I'm quite happy with that as you can see it and that's just a side view of it and on the front of my boat there if you can see I just have two uh, radar reflectors it's not ideal really you do need to be lit up but um, i'll be honest when the radar is on that is a radar reflector in itself i nearly always run my radar during the day as well as night or when it's foggy uh, just so that whenever i get into some sort of trouble i know what i'm looking for i specifically steer towards buoys and nets and other markers so i can see exactly where they are positioned so if I did get in trouble when I'm out there uh, I will know exactly what I'm looking for uh, and I'll know how close and how far away I need to be. I did get into a bit of trouble a few years ago I was out caught in the fog hadn't really used the radar too long I had it zoomed in um, I think I had it set on about three miles and there was a target quite close to me and I thought oh that's miles away and it wasn't in fact it was very close um, so you learn by your mistakes but you can't really mess about at sea it's a dangerous place at sea and you need to be on your toes so I've got everything in this boat here uh, to make it safe for me when I'm out fishing as you know I fish quite a lot on my own uh, just me and the dog so uh, I am pretty careful and obviously I always use one of these and these are quite important I mean it was a few hundred quid but it is what it is it's a personal location beacon and basically you just sort of flip this up here and pull it out I won't do it and that will light you up to the lifeguard and other vessels around you so I always wear this or have it positioned somewhere on the boat where I can get it if you do fall over or something does go wrong that could save your life so uh, basically yeah this is the uh, let's just turn these radars off okay so uh, yeah basically these units Yeah, so basically these units, this is on the page setting. So uh, you've got all these different functions here. So you've got your chart, your sonar, side scan, down scan, radar steer, a video function, which I must admit, I don't quite know what that is. That's my autopilot. That's my Mercury Mariner. There's my active target uh, transducer. So that will take me onto that page. And there's another instruments page here, but the engine management page does away with that right so let me talk you through the through the thing so this is a chart one so uh 
on this particular one I've got set up here. I believe that's on uh, CMAT Reveal. And uh, what I've done, I always run north up. So that's what way it'll show you. So when you're going out, it almost looks like you're coming back as such. I know it sounds a bit strange, but if for argument's sake, you didn't have that north up and you were course up, when you get to an actual wreck, say you're trying to get to this area here, when you get up to it and go round, the whole map will spin. So when it's north up, it won't. It'll always stay north up. So that's why I run it. But in reality, what is on your left-hand side is actually on your right hand side so it's a little bit confusing but once you get the dolly of it you'll uh that that's just how i've always used it but on this particular unit here uh i've got this set up for if ever i was out in the fog or darkness or whatever so this actual chart here is set up if you can see that orientation that's heading up so where i'm going that will show me you can have it a course up or north up so that's north up that's heading up and obviously course up, which is the way you're going. I have this particular unit set at heading up so that what is over here is actually over here. On a north up, what's there is there. I know that sounds a little bit confusing. I know that sounds a little bit confusing. This is a sonar installation page and the actual sonar that I'm running is an SS175HW which basically is an AMR singing and dancing transducer. It's one kilowatt. It's a very powerful and it's a through, through hole trans and it's a through hole transducer. And that is actually located down here under my uh, under my floor here. I'll show you that in a minute. So let's come off of that. So yeah, you've got different ways of setting this up. Uh, basically, if you have this set up at uh, a default, you know, sort of auto settings, you can't really go too wrong. But uh, that's 200 frequency. Sensitivity, I just keep it at the same. Um, we've got advanced. So what I do is I have my noise reduction low, my surface clarity low. I scroll it two times because I get in a faster image and obviously my ping speed is at maximum. So what that means is that the transducer is hitting the floor and coming back as quick as possible. Uh, as I said, I have, have it at scroll speed two. Some people have it normal times one, times whatever. I find this better because I'm getting a faster reading of what I'm going over. So it gives me a better idea. That's just how it works for me. OK, uh, and as I said, you can have all these different palettes, whatever ones you want. So, I mean, that's quite a quite a nice one. That's one that most people do use, as I said at the minute. I quite like this. It's quite funky, quite relaxing. So I use that one. And you can have on this. I do like to have the beeps. And I do like to have the symbols, but you don't have to have that. You can turn that off, um, the fish ID and beeps, or you can just have uh, the symbols or whatever. But I quite like to see the fish there. I mean, a lot of people like the arcs and that. It's it's all down to, to your own preference, really. Um, right, OK, let's come on to the... Uh, the side and down scan. So I'll uh, I'll put that on the down scan, but this is using a totally transducer. A transducer that I use here for this one is a standard and it's a three in one. And I don't know if you can see that down there. It looks a bit rusty and uh, cruddy, but that is the, uh, that is the transducer there that I use. And as I say, it's a, um, it comes standard with uh, these HDS units. Uh, it's a three-in-one active imaging transducer. There's all different different types. There's a total scan or whatever. That one seems to be pretty good, but I'll be honest with you, the MR, you just can't go wrong as a general sounder. But if you want to use your side scan or down scan, it's quite handy. And what I will do quite often is I've got a page here so on this page here i have yeah here so sorry let's push that so i've got my normal sounder and as you can see dash that is the source so that's coming from here 
that says that's my side scan that's my down scan that says helm helm that transducer is plugged into this unit so that is the source i don't want to confuse you too much but basically that's a side scan so that's going out 50 foot either side if you look at that line there that basically is your keel there and uh, either side of you is where you'll see fish so you, this area here i think you're picking up that pontoon there and then over a little bit further there you're picking up the other pontoon there and my pontoon here um but i'll be honest with the style of fishing that i do i just work with this one i do like the down scan it's got uh, let me just show you that on a different page so this is the down scan and this has a uh, uh, fish reveal on it so you will see the fish come up in uh, like a yellow color or whatever and i've got a bottom line on here so you can see so at the present minute we are only in 10 foot of water i i like to do mine in feet some people like meters but i i like feet um a bit old-fashioned but um yeah that's that and you can change your palette to whatever you like that one's quite nice actually i quite like the blue but uh and then if I go onto this other page, this will so show you the side scan in better. So you can actually hit plus and go in closer or you can go out further. So that's reading it at, let's go a hundred foot. So obviously you can see that pontoon there is very close to me. And then I'm picking up the other one, the other side and you will pick fish up out of here uh it's ironic normally there's loads of fish floating about in here but uh there don't seem to be any today it's typical when you start filming but that just gives you that sort of image and that's uh and that comes standard with these hds units um right okay so i've showed you the chart sonar side and down scan uh i think i've showed you this is a little bit about the radar so this is just having one radar on and if you go down to one mile each one of these rings so there let me just put the transmit on this at the minute so it's detecting the scanner now it's working so you're picking up everything obviously i've got this set on offshore you can have this on harbor so this will be much more much more uh pick up much more targets it's a lot more sensitive on here also you've got weather so you can see the weather coming in and bird function which i'll be honest i've never really used i don't really know how to use that and i think it's more for the american side of the market where they're searching for bait fish and things like that i've never used it i'll be honest i just keep this one on uh, offshore when I'm going out, as I said, when I'm using the two units together as a split screen, I'll have one on offshore and one on harbour. So I'm picking up targets, crab pots and everything else. So this is set on one mile. So, so that's a quarter of a mile, half a mile, three quarters of a mile and a mile. These are range rings and I like to have them on there. Uh, so it gives me some idea. So I know that that little dot there, if you can see that, that is a quarter of a mile away from where i am and if i come over to this this um let's put this chart on navionics it just shows you a little bit easier so that will change so if i i'll put this radar up to about eight miles and you can see these red dots here these are targets out there so this here is obviously two boats yeah so you're picking targets up here these red so it's it's very handy to have and as i sort of explained before what i do is when i'm going out to a wreck i will actually put my radar on if my wreck's 10 mile i'll put my radar on 12 miles then i'll go over to the chart and then i'll zoom in on that wreck and then I'll see if there's any boats on it, then I know it's not worth me going out there because I don't want to be crowded. But um, yeah, it's a lovely, um, it's a lovely setup. And uh, if I show you out here, the sun's probably glaring on this unit a bit. 
but it's exactly the same setup on this unit here i've just got these pages set up slightly different so i have got here um my chart sorry my chart sonar and my two side and down scan set up on this but i'll be honest with you all i use this for out here is my so you can see the fish there but all i use this for out here is my chart and my sonar so when i'm going round the wreck i can actually see what i'm doing on this unit it was when i first got this boat fitted i had just had these two units and i couldn't see you're looking through the door and you can't actually see uh the units good enough to to pinpoint yourself so i got this unit this 12 inch one out on the back here had it fitted out here and it's fantastic and also on here i have got a button and that button there is my autopilot so i can push that button and it'll hold my heading and if i take you in here i've also got the same button here so i push that and uh, my autopilot works and let me just show you how that does actually work so if i go to find and then i go to waypoint and just say for argument's sake i want to go here zero zero one so i'll push that one and then i'll push go to and then it will ask me if i want to engage autopilot if i push yes so let's just do that i'll push yes and then it will say confirm and then as soon as i push confirm if you can hear that let's cancel that but that will actually start to take me on my bearings so i'll just cancel that but yeah that's it basically that's the uh the setup that i've got on this boat um i'll show you the transducer under the deck that i use but um yeah i just hope you've got something from that so um it does definitely help to have relief shading charts as i said navionics is pretty spot on cmap reveal is is banging they're both they're both very very good charts cmap reveal was out before navionics they sort of had the um the, the head start with it all but i must admit i do like navionics it is a fantastic bit of kit but i use whichever one is best for me uh for the style of fishing that i'm doing i'm doing at the minute a lot of reef fishing and i'm finding that the detail on the navionics the platinum plus is uh far superior uh, i can see better contours but if i'm going wreck fishing and i want to find new wrecks cmap reveal is definitely a game changer there's there's wrecks on there that are even that i haven't got i get all of my information and wreck positions off of a diver's site um i think it's recce you site the wreck site it is and you pay 30 euros and you can access this site and it'll give you all the gps numbers the history of the wrecks how the boat was built how it was sunk how many people were on it how it lies what sort of marine life are under there so it's a wealth of knowledge uh, i must admit i just take the numbers and uh, then what i do is i used to go out and find uh, find the wreck and then I would before these relief shading charts and I would put a concession whenever I went over the wreck and it came up on the sounder I would put a dot in and then you would just build up this area with this relief shading now you don't need to do all that I mean I've got thousands and thousands of dots on there every time I go out I try and delete a few of them each time um, because I don't need them, because you can see the outline of the wrecks with these charts now. So there's no need to do that. But, um, you know, uh, that's how we used to have to do it back in the day, you know, before these charts came out. Well, I'll just show you this um, transducer that I've got under here. If my lovely dog will let me. Come out of the way, Skip. Come out of the way, boy. Right, so, well, you can't actually see it here so yeah just trust me it's under there <coughs> yeah i've got so much stuff under the floor i can't show you but basically it's a through hole in an earlier video i did of me uh doing the anti-fouling you can see phil he's the outboard mechanic here him and dominic uh they fitted the transducer for me it was a bit of a scary thing uh, drilling a hole for a boat but these guys are professionals so uh, it's been fitted in there and as I said it works superb all I have to do is once a year get the boat out and get it cleaned and uh, just scrub off the uh, 
the barnacles and whatever else but I get this boat out twice a year once to anti-foul and uh, service and then every six months I get it out just for a jet wash the marina are absolutely fantastic here I love it here as I said I'm round in the north now so uh, it's uh, a bit quiet here I couldn't do this today round there it's ran with people we've just had the air show here as well so it's been very busy but um, hope you get something from the video I uh, hope you enjoy Manic Mondays I'm trying to get a video out every Monday so uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy it. Thank you very much for watching and please subscribe. And um, when you see at the end of this video, it will come up with another video to watch now and it comes up with a manic fishing circle. Please hit that manic fishing circle. That is the subscribe button. And just, uh, and just, just subscribe to the channel. It doesn't cost you anything to subscribe and it means the world to me. And please tell a friend about my channel. Hope you're enjoying it. As I said, I, um, I'm... Uh, I'm pretty honest with my videos, I don't leave anything out and I certainly don't edit anything in so uh, what you see is what you get, I don't rehearse any of this and everything I do, I do it on my own when I'm trying to take the photos of the fish and whatever else and I'm using a handheld camera and the dogs are in, around my feet all the time and whatever but um, yeah I'm just trying to, uh, to hopefully um, show you guys what uh, experience I have on the water but thank you so much for watching, see you next Monday.